five, five, four, four, three, three, two, one. I'm from a place where the girls are always looking pretty. You might have heard of us. We call it Shy City. We build champions here who define gritty. We don't do excuses. We don't do pity. Rose is coming back stronger. That's a guarantee. Cutler's coming back too. He's beastly. Throwing it to Marshall. The title's ours easily. Blackhawks are winning titles. Trophy looking massive. Don't forget about the Cubs, Sox, Crosstown Classic. With so much greatness, we gotta show bravado. You got your boys Ambro and Mike Mercado. Hello and welcome in to this week's edition of the Chicago Beat. I am Mike Mercado. It is great to be with you guys. It is Friday, March 8th, 2013 here in the beautiful city of Chicago. We are back in the man cave and we have so much to get into today. Of course, you can follow us everywhere in the universe at mmercado2333 if you want to get a hold of me right away. And now, of course, you all heard about the Chicago Beat, diolasite.com. But now we're on Facebook too. Like us, share us, interact with us. We've told you our new goal is to get each and every one of you who listen to us, who take the time to listen to us, to actually be interactive with the show. So go there and go into the website and enjoy, of course, all the links to all their great local work, some of, of them personal friends of mine. Please check it out, guys. So since the last time I've talked to you guys, what has been going on in this city? <laughs> is It's an understatement to say a lot has happened in just... What, eight days, give or take? The Blackhawks still on their historic, this historic uh, point streak, just absolutely crazy, taking over national media news now, which is always great, not only for the city of Chicago, but for the sport. You know, I'm a newer hockey fan. I've only been watching since maybe 09. And I can tell you, this is really good that the city of Chicago, uh, original six team, is doing so well and making this historic run that it is the biggest story. With the Miami Heat's, what, 16-game win streak. So it's very impressive on that. The Bulls, on the other hand, though, a very tough streak that they've hit. And this Derrick Rose watch has absolutely just drained everybody. Every Bulls fan in this city. There's so much to get into when it comes to the Chicago Bulls. A lot when it comes to on the court, a lot of it off the court. At the end of the day, before we get into anything, just remember... After all that, they're still a 60 in the Eastern Conference, seven games above 500, and at one point, we're the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. We got so much to do here on the Chicago Beat. The Chicago Beat is brought to you by InFlight Express. You want to get your shipping needs done fast? Visit InFlightExpress.com. The Blackhawks play tonight against Colorado of a home and home against the Avalanche. And this whole streak, it's 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 crazy. Like, you know how we are here on the Chicago Beat. We don't we're not all about the stats. I think now the conversation that that people are having that I've taken in the most when it comes to all this Blackhawks talk is what does it mean if they don't win the Stanley Cup? That's a fair question. This streak, as great as it is, what does it mean if you don't win a Stanley Cup? At the end of the season, it doesn't lead to a championship. Is it a flop? Is it a disappointment? Is it just a memory? What is it? It's always going to be in the record book. Unless you're from Chicago. Naturally, it only matters is if they win the Stanley Cup. And that's what I've been asking you. Is it important? I've gotten answers from both sides. You know, some are saying... It doesn't matter. It's hard to win a Stanley Cup. Even It's hard to win games in the National Hockey League in general. So to have this kind of streak, not to lose in regulation halfway through the season already, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing. So it, it, it goes back to having the perspective of this team that we had a few weeks ago when we were talking about it, that no matter what happens at this point, again, when we were talking about this, what, two weeks ago, maybe, Secret Producer Man? Yeah, two weeks ago when we were talking about this, it doesn't matter if the streak ends today against Colorado, if it ends against Detroit, if it ends, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it is. San Jose, Vancouver, whoever it is. If they don't win a Stanley Cup, that story overshadows the national, but here in Chicago, you're always going to remember that season, just how good they were, good or bad. And that's the point that I, I 
kind of realized over the last few weeks since we were talking about when the streak really took off. If they don't win the Stanley Cup, here in Chicago, we will always remember the streak. If not for one reason, how good we thought they were going to be. Unless they do go to the Stanley Cup and they don't win, because, again, they're not playing the Eastern Conference this year. So we don't know how their record would be if they were playing against the Pittsburgh Penguins or the Boston Bruins. So with keeping that in mind, if they don't go to the Stanley Cup and let's say they lose in the second round, the whole conversation will be it was a disappointment. How good did they start it? How good did it look like they were to begin with? That's the only two scenarios. It either plays out perfectly storybook, they go to the Stanley Cup, or they flop. It, it can't be one or the other just because of this start right here. And that's why at the moment you have to enjoy it for what it is. But it's no guarantee to a Stanley Cup. There is no championships guaranteed. You've seen it with the Yankees spend over $100 million. You've seen it with the Miami Heat the first year around where they put these talents together. Nothing is guaranteed in sports. The only thing guaranteed in sports is something big always happens. That is what you got to... In big can mean injuries. We've seen it with Patrick Sharp, who got hurt. Separated shoulders, some people are saying. Marion Hosa was a late scratch. It's, a lot, it's not perfect. And they're still not playing perfect, too. If you look at the way they're playing, they're not playing perfect. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. There's a lot of injuries now that are starting to hit it. You're seeing Corey Crawford come in and out of the lineup. Ramry has been able to step up and play well, but it's not perfect. For a streak that's been so, quote-unquote, perfect, it's not. It's a lot to look. That's... This is what we've been harping on the most. That's good. There's work to be done. That means you're not going to get complacent. There is a there is a goal this team has. You hear it in the quotes. If you watch Comcast Sportsnet Chicago, a local sports channel, you hear it when they do. They have great coverage. They are having all-time ratings when it comes to Blackhawk teams. They have these Blackhawk players on TV. You hear it. Their main goal is it doesn't matter without a Stanley Cup. And, of course, a lot of that might be just for media. And we I hope that they're enjoying it because this is once in a lifetime. But as long as the goal is to win a Stanley Cup, no matter what happens with this streak, I think this team has enough talent, has been there enough, and is, if they keep that goal in mind, there's no reason why they shouldn't win the Stanley Cup. There's no reason why. Now, the other team who, who rents out the United Center, nothing's guaranteed. We'll find out why next here on the Chicago Beat. Follow the show on Twitter at Mercado2333 or our new Facebook page. Like us, share us, talk to us, interact with us. It's a really cool website for all the links. We're at The Chicago Beat on Facebook and TheChicagoBeatDiolaSite.com. It's amazing. I, I didn't even think about this when we were, me and Sick Producer Man were writing out the show and getting ready to put it up. The Bulls didn't lead the show. The Blackhawks did. It's a fish show. The Blackhawks are the team in the city right now. They just led the show. I know. That's crazy. There's And for every reason why. I mean, they're playing so great and the Bulls just, they don't they don't look right. Over the last few weeks, we've just been talking about it. We've been harping over it that they just don't look right. And a lot of it has to do with Derrick Rose. I don't care what anybody, anybody says. If you don't think this Derrick Rose talk isn't affecting the team, you're crazy. I have it of great authority. That Derek should be playing by now. He should have been playing by now. And it's no secret a lot of people already have been talking. If you listen to ESPN 1000 or WSCR The Score 670 here in Chicago, you know that he should be on the court. That something's not right. So you have, let's just break this whole, we're going to break this down in a nutshell. You have Reggie Rose who has controlled every move Derek has done since Simeon to Memphis to Adidas, everything. Reggie has had a voice in, okay? AAU, all that. It's all Reggie. Then you have Tom Thibodeau, who is a minute machine. He'll go to his grave saying the superstars, young superstars, play 37, 38, 39, 40 minutes a game, Okay? A sixth seed where Joakim Noah and Luol Deng, very nice serviceable players, are your next two 
best players, but the guy who makes the most money is Carlos Boozer, who's probably the fifth best player on your team. All this in, in thought, you're still the sixth seed in the in the NBA Eastern Conference. And we're supposed to believe that he's not ready. All that, and he's not ready still. It's been 10 months. None of us should tell anybody when they should play. It's his body. I get it. But do not feed us garbage. I think that's what I'm just sick of. If you're not going to play this season, don't play. That's fine. I don't agree that you, should be, you shouldn't play for 16 months. I think you should play. Even if you don't play in the playoffs, we play the next 15 games, you don't play the playoffs. Whatever. You, you decide to play through the playoffs. Players play. I see that whatever perspective you have to, just do not feed us this garbage that you don't know when you're going to come back, if you're going to come back. Yes, you do. Because physically, you're ready. Physically, you are ready to get on the court. There is nothing wrong with your ACL anymore. You have been cleared by your doctor that your knee is 100%. That if anything happens to it, it's force of God. Okay? All that in mind. And you're still both the Derrick Rose camp and the Bulls camp. And now I'm, I'm even leading away from the Bulls camp. Because I don't think they have a lot to do with this anymore. You're feeding us garbage. And then text me- uh, uh, excuse me, Twitter messages talking about having a rough day. The only people who are there for you are your family and your friends. I'm all for the sentiment. I'm a family man. I get it. But... That is, again, cryptic message you're sending out to the masses that you're, you don't know what you're doing. And to have this conversation is kind of, you know, for lack of a better term, heartbreaking. Because we are all such big Derrick Rose fans, Chicago Bulls fans. He's a good kid. He's from Chicago. He's a hometown guy. That doesn't mean that he's not flawless. And we're seeing that. And he doesn't have all the answers. That's fine. He's only a year older than me. I get it. I, I don't know how I would interact when I'm making $200 million, cashing $90 million from an organization. I have a torn ACL. I've never had that situation before. I get it. But you have to make a decision. You're a grown man. One way or the other, are you going to play or are you not going to play? You have Luol Deng and Joe Kim Noah who are playing through serious injuries. At some point, Luol Deng needs to get those ligaments sur- surgically repaired on his hand. Joe Kim Noah is playing with plantar fasciitis on both feet, okay? If you've ever had I've never had it. I've had people tell me that it is the worst burning on your feet. It feels like your, your, your foot is on fire. Those are your two all-stars. They're playing every day to get you just to the point where you're a fourth seed and a sixth seed, okay? If you're not coming back, these guys could have their rest, have their surgeries, get ready for the next season. If you've decided you're not going to play. But if you are going to play, then you need to be out there with them to see what you have. If you can make a run. Anything can happen in the playoffs. You, If you somehow avoid Miami for the first round, even somehow a second round, anything can happen in the conference finals. Anything can happen in the playoffs. But if you're not going to play, you owe it to your team. Not to the fans. Not to the organization. Not to your sponsors. To your teammates. That's where everything has gotten lost in this whole thing. It's all it's become about the organization and the and the fans, except for the teammates who have been out there trying to get the team into the playoffs and have been the fourth and the sixth seed without the MVP. It's a lot to think about that we have not spoken about. I want to hear your opinions. I need I need to hear what you guys are thinking. Follow us at Mercado2333, the Chicago Beat on Facebook. And the Chicago Beat.yellowsite.com. We wrap up shop next here on the Chicago Beat. It's gonna be funky. How come all the pretty girls like you are taken, baby? I've been looking for someone like you to save me. That's too easy to be so damn complicated. Take your time and I'll be waiting. Got me all fluctuated in here, Secret Producer Man, talking about that Derrick Rose stuff. I know I came off a little harsh uh, if, when, if you guys have been listening, but it just, players p- get paid to play. That's just, a, that's what it is. That's just what it is. You're cashing the check, you have to play. 
I have a flu. I have to come in and I still have to go to work, right? I, it doesn't matter. If you're ready, you're ready. You got to go do it. Oh, boy. Don't forget, you can follow the show at, at mercado2333. We're on Facebook, The Chicago Beat. And, of course, the new and improved awesome, TheChicagoBeat.YolaSite.com. And don't forget, if you're interested in making a career change, you're in that point of your life right now where you're just looking for something that you can be passionate about. Well, if you've been listening to me, you know I'm passionate about this. Visit BeOnAir.com. That's the Illinois Center for Broadcasting. It's a great school with two great Chicago land locations, one in downtown on State Street, the other in Lombard. Guys, I'm a graduate from there in 2011, three jobs into the business. It is awesome. Check it out. That's BeOnAir.com. Set up a meeting so they can give you a tour. And if you're interested in sponsorship, guys, you know anybody who is, visit thechicagobeat.yolaset.com or the Facebook page and let us know we're working on deals. The Chicago Beat is getting big, guys, because of you. So if you got any more help for us, please send it our way. Coming up this weekend, what we got? We got Bulls tonight. We got Blackhawks tonight. Should be interesting. Hopefully both teams can bounce. Well, at least the Bulls can bounce back and head into a winning ways. Hopefully the Blackhawks continue and have that streak magically continue. I don't know. They've had a lot of bounce go, bounces go their ways. They're playing. They're just at the right spot. Let's see how long it could go on. I'm rooting for them just like everybody else is in this city. God knows we need it with the bull, way the Bulls have been playing. So for everybody here at the Chicago Beat, I am Mike Mercado, Secret Producer Man, of course, for getting this show back up in the road. Everybody, thank you so much. Please enjoy the rest of your weekend. I am Mike Mercado. Later, guys. <laughs>